Hi, my name is Rafał Baranowski. I'm a technical director in Folcia Solar. We are the leading distribution of solar systems that include SOFAR Solar. In today's episode, I would like to introduce you how to carry out the full system upgrade uh, using the USB stick. I'm going to show you how to prepare the USB stick, how to prepare the files to be transferred to the USB stick, and how to transfer the file uh, on the USB stick into the inverter. So intention is uh, if you are st stuck in the situation basically where you don't have any means of the broadband, uh, only way to upgrade the inverter is to do it locally using USB. This video is to show you how to prepare the USB uh, stick for the SOFAR inverters upgrades. Okay, this is power all system. Uh, see, first thing to do is put your USB inside the PC, scroll over the USB. In my case, it's um, Xioxia format the USB so system uh, file or file system need to be FAT32 otherwise it won't um, see the, the inverter and inverter won't see the USB okay so when it's that we need to do the format so allow for the format okay format is complete next step I'm gonna send you a firmware update, okay, via WhatsApp mail. And first thing will be to unzip that file, okay? So this is the file. This is the full update of um, inverter and the batteries. So we need to extract all. When it's done, just put that folder next to the zip one from that file we need to open that main folder there is a second folder okay so we need to copy the whole folder named firmware inside the folder you can see root files okay so we are need to copy firmware the whole folder and place it onto the usb that was previously formatted With that, we can approach the inverter and start the upgrade. First thing will be to remove the current logger, put in your USB. USB symbol supposed to be visible straight away. Now we're gonna carry out the software update. Password is 0715. First thing will be to upgrade the PCS. So we press enter to that and we're waiting. The files will be transferred to the unit and then from the unit to the hardware. Updates are necessary, like with all the electrical ele electronics as well. Same with the phones, from time to time the system needs to be upgraded and optimized. So now we're gonna check did the latest update was installed correctly. Inverter info. Second screen, 075, and we can see that uh, three parts of the firmware for the inverters were implemented, which is 323, I call it 323 and 323. So this is ARM, DSPM, and DSPS. So first step of the upgrade is done. Now we're gonna upgrade battery firmwares gone into the system upgrades first bit will be the BMS we need to make sure that you have two power sources okay it can be either battery need to be waked up and DC or the battery and AC in my case it's battery and AC now I'm gonna carry out BMS upgrade So in that part, we need to make sure that uh, the additional power source isn't interrupted. 
because if if the additional power source will drop uh, the battery you then will have to be hardwired and updated via CAN box. Full operation gonna take uh, around 10 minutes. When we doing that remotely, um, it's gonna take between hour and hour and a half. So basically the local update is the fastest uh, way to have the unit up and running. Not only that, well, if we upgrading remotely and there is um, slow link speed that can extend the time and bring um, some kind of issues like the errors because the long time for the information to pass between the servers uh, it can fail but don't worry it's only around one percent and it strictly um, depends on the on the internet or broadband that the unit is connected to so that's that part is finished so BMS is battery management system and need to be upgraded first on the battery upgrade. Now we go to PCU, which is power control unit. So updates are uh, quite quite uh, necessary because with each update the system is better and better. Okay, updates are strictly to uh, optimize the systems within the unit which equals to better operation better en energy management and better performance you see the unit up and running status lights finished operation as well indicating that the unit is finished doing its upgrade and it's fully operational now we need to verify that all the packages uh, went through to find that again system information we check the inverter it's on 323 now we're gonna check the PSU uh, PCEO and BMS versions should be 19 on both and we see PCU was successfully updated BMS successfully updated okay after that we need to take out the USB from the unit feedback logger and this is finish. Thank you all for uh, today's session. I hope you find it uh, useful. Please follow our channel, uh, subscribe to it and thumbs up. Thank you very much.